Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this is a mod spotlight for energy control. Energy control is a mod which is derived from nuclear control which used to monitor nuclear reactors and other machines for the IC2 mod. So in this video we will primarily be focusing on how to use energy control to monitor different nuclear reactors, power producing machines and even fluid tanks from HBM's reloaded mod as RF tools doesn't really cut it when it comes to nuclear tech mod. All the download links are in the description and there are video chapters to skip to a specific section. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the spotlight. Energy control gives you four different panels in order to view the information that you want to see. The basic one being the industrial information panel, then the advanced one, the holographic information panel and finally the portable panel. All four of them work in a similar fashion, so we are gonna be focusing more on the advanced information panel for the sake of this tutorial. Now the normal information panel can handle up to one component at one time, but the advanced information panel can handle up to three components at the same time. So how do we get these set components? Well, in order to do that, this mod adds various sensor kits. Using those sensor kits, you can actually right click on any component that you want and it will provide you with a card which then can be used in these panels. So here you can see all the different kits that can be used but we are more keen on using or basically seeing how to use the HBM sensor kit. Using this sensor kit, we can monitor all kind of nuclear reactors and machines from HBM's nuclear tech mod. Now this is what sets this mod apart from RF tools as RF tools isn't really very good at handling HG which is HBM energy power. So yeah you need to convert it into RF in order to monitor anything which isn't very good. So yeah energy control is a pretty decent mod and now let's actually see how to set up an advanced information panel in order to view the information. So we are gonna start with the combustion generator. Let, let's start viewing our information with the most basic machine HBMs has to offer. So place down an advanced information panel and then get an HBM sensor kit. Now once you have the kit with it in your hand, just right click on the machine that you want to monitor. In this case, the combustion generator. If the machine is compatible, the sensor kit will be then converted into a sensor card. And this card will actually save its coordinates so that even if you break the machine and you place it again, it will still register. Now if you place it in the advanced information panel, nothing really happened. Well, that is because you need to provide some sort of redstone signal for the panel in order for it to work. As soon as you do that, as you can see, we can now view all the information about the combustion generator on our advanced information panel. But this is very difficult to view, to say the least, because it's very small. So in order to extend this panel, we can use the advanced information panel extender, which are available for the other type of panels as well. Now, as soon as you start placing the panel extenders adjacent to the main block, it will grow the screen like this. So yeah, using this way, you can make these screens as big as you want to. Now, once the screen is good enough, you are satisfied with it. Let's actually start changing or basically providing some water and fuel in the combustion generator. And as soon as we do that, the screen will start updating in real time and it will show you the real time status of the combustion generator. So now let's start producing some power by placing some coal in it. And once we do that, it should update like instantly on the screen. And there we go. Our generator is now active and we are producing energy. And it is being stored in the combustion generator which can be seen on the screen right here. Now that we have real time data of our combustion generator, let's take a look at the GUI of the panel. So using this first tab here, you can actually change the thickness and the orientation of the panel and you can bring it right down to 1 16th of a block. So you can make the panel thick or thin according to your wishes. And yeah, this panel can be now considered a flat panel. As for the other two tabs, you can use them to change the orientation or basically give your panel some sort of slope using the horizontal axis or the vertical axis. Now this is all depending on your needs or basically how your base is built. So the first one was using the vertical axis and the second one is using the horizontal axis like this so yeah it's actually pretty customizable next up we have the color tab in order to change the color of the text and the panel itself this option isn't readily available in the normal industrial information panel but is available in the advanced panel so now we can change the color of the screen which and the color of the text I'm gonna go with yellow text 
on a black colored screen which looks pretty good during the night so yeah using this you can customize or basically color code all of your different machines of your base next up we have the panel refresh rate basically at what rate will your panel refresh or change its information and yeah that's basically it so this was all for the gui of the panels now let's take a look on the different sensors or some of the relevant sensors that this mod has to offer so first one being the energy sensor kit now the energy sensor kits works basically on any hbm energy storage device so once you right click on the energy storage device i'm going to build a, another panel real quick and once it's ready let's place down our energy sensor card inside it and there we go so now we are reading the energy stored inside the shebedium battery block and as it has no energy right now we are reading zero so let's change that and connect the combustion generator to the energy sensor card sorry the shebedium battery block now once that's done it should update any time now and there we go so now the shebedium battery block will be updated every one second and it will show you how much filled it is now interestingly you can use the hbm sensor kit in order to monitor the small nuclear reactor and the big nuclear reactor and if i'm not wrong this is the feature that most of you will be going for while using this mod so the process is still going to be the same just build an advanced panel and build it big like you are gonna need a big panel in order to view all the information of the nuclear reactor and yeah just put the sensor card in there but as soon as you do that and power the lever something interesting will happen it will show us that the reactor is actually out of range well how do you combat that in order to do that this mod offers some range extenders or range upgrades just take your range upgrades and start placing them one by one until your reactor is in range so one doesn't do the trick but two range upgrades will do the trick and now we can see the entire data of the big nuclear reactor on our screen right here but it's better to just extend it and make it a 3 by 3 screen instead in order to view it in a much better way. So there we go. This is the entire data of your big nuclear reactor. So now if I start placing some water in there, it will start updating it on the screen right here. As you can see, the water levels are going up. And now all that's left is to just place in some fuel. I'm going to use plutonium. And once you place the fuel, it will also show you the level of fuel and the level of the control rods that you are operating your reactor at. So yeah, this panel or these panels are basically very detailed with the amount of information that they show you. It basically tells you everything that you need to know about your nuclear reactors. So this is a must if you are building a nuclear power plant. Now that we have taken a look at the nuclear reactors and power producing machines, also let's take a look at the fluid tanks or the fluid ducts. So for that we need the advanced fluid advanced liquid sensor kit basically and once you click on the input output ports of the fluid ducts and even the cooling tower <laughs> yeah it works on cooling towers as well you can see the information of these tanks so like for example i'm gonna place some biofuel in my first tank and some petroleum in the other tank so here goes the petroleum in a normal tank or the first tank here and in the second biggest tank we are going to place some biofuel and as soon as you do that it should start updating in real time on both of these screens here so that was all i had for this video i know this wasn't a full mod spotlight and there are many kits that i haven't covered so if you want me to cover them and basically made a complete mod spotlight on this one please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll make it happen Peace out guys, stay safe.